hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel this is ricky henry life and we are in canada in north america today i want us to take a tour of the beautiful homes beautiful houses and neighborhoods of Carson street so i'm going to be moving around such that in case you're planning to come to Canada, you're planning to buy a house, you look at the different designs, all different houses, the Canadians own, but within Carson Street in Ontario, in Toronto. So you're going to be moving around such that you can find out which specific house are you going to be purchasing i know some people when they are planning to move to another country they always have dreams of purchasing new homes buying new homes so i want us to be looking at those different homes such that when you come here because you make a proper selection. We are at Carson Street in Ontario within Toronto. Carson Street is located in Etobicoke. That's where we are. It's more of an industrial area, but again, they are residents or people residing within the same area so i want us to be looking at those different houses as we enjoy the beauty of canada we are in the spring season no more winter conditions Temperatures at 10 degrees Celsius. We are in the month of April. And this is a cold environment within Canada. So I'm going to be making a street walk around Carson Street. such that you can see the beautiful homes I'm talking about. This is Ricky Henry live. In case it's your first time to watch this channel, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are at Honor Avenue right now. Honor Avenue, but within Carson Street. So I want you to be looking at the beautiful homes within or along Honor Avenue. Such that you see how Canadians are living a luxuriant life. These are very quiet environments, quiet surroundings, no noise at all. Far away from downtown. So when you end up purchasing a home within such a neighborhood 
of course you'll be living a life you want to live so this is 13th then we have Davik Drive but along Hona Hona Avenue within Carson Street in Etobicoke that's where we are it is a very silent environment you cannot hear any noise this is a cool environment in case you want to raise kids so you can come here you purchase or buy your own dream house within this neighborhood here Sometimes we find out that these houses are somehow expensive due to the fact that, of course, they are near downtown or located within Toronto, Canadian most popular city, but of course not the capital city. So you may find out that they are a little bit expensive. So in case you want to buy a house, maybe look for areas that are far away from the city. from the city in case you may even in case you're not having could be enough funds so you may look for areas which are far away from the city you may go to Alberta but again when you go to Alberta you may look for those upcountry areas of Alberta so when you look at this environment it is the place to be it's a very good environment very nice environment look at that who doesn't want to live here I believe majority of people who want to stay in such areas. Yeah, this is a good area. Personally, I like it. So, Canadians live a luxurious life. They do live a luxurious life. Unlike in Africa, where we have the perimeter walls for the rich people you, you cannot find it here you know rich people in africa what they do they begin constructing perimeter you think this is for sale yep for sale and you can come here already sold could be it is already sold so you can come here you purchase this may be on sale, you never know. People here drive Porsche, Porsche cars, like I said in one of the vlogs. Porsche cars. They were saying that back home in Africa, people construct perimeter, perimeter walls. They do construct perimeter walls. But here in Canada, they don't construct perimeter walls. It is a culture for rich people in Africa. That's what they do. I don't know what takes place in Asia. Somebody comment there in case you are visiting Asia. 
whether they also construct perimeter walls, maybe separating or demarcating your land from the neighbors. So here they don't construct those perimeter walls. But sometimes you find out that neighbors don't even talk to each other. That's the culture of these countries here. That's the way people, of course, live. It's not like in Africa. In Africa, mostly, you may find out that relatives are staying closer to each other. People are paying visit to one another. It is a cultural shock here. So sometimes you may even be staying with a neighbor and you don't talk to that neighbor for almost five years. So it is very possible here. People mind their business. They are always too busy with work. So sometimes they come back when they are too tired. So there are a lot of differences between Africa and the Western world. So in case you're planning to come, ensure that you make thorough research. You make thorough research. Don't begin going to people's homes asking for could be food stuffs the same way you do it in Africa. That may not work here. So this is a good environment. So when you look at that street, that fifth street, yeah, this is a place to be. Yeah. This is called the Valem Valemo Drive. Yeah. Valemo Drive. I like it here. These are cool environments, good neighborhoods. So you may come around in case you are in Toronto, you may come around along Carson Street. You take a walk. Yeah, I'm also taking a walk. I'm moving around in my free time as I'm vlogging such that my people also enjoy what I'm enjoying right now. So Canadians love their country. You may find out that most houses are having flags. This is rare in Africa also. Could be to find a Ugandan flag displayed on somebody's house. You find it here in Canada. There are few people with that nationalistic spirit. Who can now display the flag of the country could be on their houses on their homes but this is done here by various people So we are still within Ontario, in Toronto, but in the municipality of Etobicoke, along Carson Street, but within Honor Avenue, that's where we are, and we are touring. Oh, we are on the street walk of the neighborhoods, beautiful houses, beautiful 
homes of the rich Canadians. I wanted to give you a right picture of how rich Canadians live. The houses you're seeing, they're a little expensive. People end up purchasing them but of course after taking some time you just take a mortgage sometimes it may even take you 20 years could be to complete that mortgage they may tell you pay 10 percent of the mortgage they may say the house is could be five hundred thousand dollars five hundred thousand dollars and they tell you first pay 10 percent of that 500 thousand dollars canadian dollars then you begin paying the rest in installments so it depends that's why i was saying that in case you're planning to buy a home within this neighborhood at least you have to be having some money to facilitate the purchasing it is a little bit drizzling but we are continuing with our vlog this is a tour or travel vlog you're watching ricky henry live we are in north america and i'm going to be uploading videos about different topics for people who are interested in traveling seeing new places just stick on this channel you won't be disappointed in case you're planning to move to canada this is the right channel for you in case you're within canada this is again the right channel for you I am aware that you can be in Canada, but you fail to even get time of moving to different places because of your busy schedule. So, I want you to be moving to those places, but on screen. So, let me take you where you cannot go. Yeah. That's going to be my responsibility. I'm going to be taking you to areas where you cannot go. Like I said, my passion is traveling. And this is what I'm going to always be doing. We are now, we are now going to first concentrate on the street walks. That, that's what you're going to first concentrate on then later we are going to advance this it's going to be, to be more beyond the street walks that's why i said that we are going to be having different topics to discuss on this channel in the near future we'll have talk shows one-on-one -on -one talk shows so this is a silent environment that's why you cannot even hear any noise so this is a good place in case you're planning to move to Canada just come and buy a house within this place so building those flat houses could be the storage buildings does not indicate that you are rich Here, having such a house just shows that you are rich. 
back home in Africa, mostly storied buildings, so flat houses. Can just be evidencing that somebody is a little bit wealthy than the rest in the same neighborhood. That's not the case within Canada. The same setting you may find it also in the United States due to the fact that these countries are neighboring each other. They are having a lot in common. So sometimes even if you move to the States, there is no difference. Even if you have gone to the States or you're within Canada, there is no difference on the environment, even the infrastructure relatively the same. So most of the things are the same. Like I say, people here, they love That's why you're seeing those flags displayed or being displayed. Yes, we are in North America and you're watching Ricky Henry Live. This is a travel vlog and we have been making a tour. of the neighborhoods with beautiful houses within Canada. Thanks for watching Ricky Henry Live. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.